Okay, <clears throat> thank you for joining Ghost Hunter Wales and Paranormal Wales UK on, on this occasion for another video. I'm with Jeff Fiddler, who is the owner of the Skirid Inn in Abergavenny. Do a, a quick interview with him and uh, find out some things about this place. And the first thing I'm curious to learn, Jeff, is how did you acquire it and why why did you want to acquire it? Well, I'm, I'm, I am a Welshman. I'm originally from Barry, and I had a pub in North Hertfordshire a long way away. Uh, and my wife was unwell at the time, thankfully we recovered now. And we just needed to come back to Wales uh, to be near our family for Sharon's illness. Uh, but this became available, and I walked in here and I've been in love with it for the last 16 years. Couldn't, uh, I knew a little about the history, but I've obviously found out a lot more. Um, yeah. uh, the place, as, as a, a place of work, of business, and somewhere to live, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, well, it's certainly, um, we, we, we've spent the night here. Unfortunately, not a lot of paranormal activity for us overnight. That's right. Um, but no, it's, uh, it's, it's um, I would recommend it to, to anybody. Yeah. And, um, I mean, the, I, don't, I don't know the young lady's name that welcomed us Angela. Here. Angela, she could not do enough for us. Uh, I've got to praise her 100%. She could not be more. That's why I've come Thank back with so much. It's, yeah. so, it's so no. friendly, isn't it? So friendly. Yeah, no, the, 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 the welcome that you get here is, is absolutely overwhelming. It's 100%. percent Thank you very kind. Okay, so what about happenings then? What can you give us some some nice stories? Yes, oh, I can give you plenty of stories over the years. I've been here a long time. Uh, personally, um, my biggest um, the thing happened to me. Uh, what I've seen myself was a, a gentleman in a tricornered hat and it was daylight and he was stood in the porch near the ancient door. Right. He had his back to me, he had a, a something I would say almost like a scarlet red on underneath but a navy cloak over the top. Um, I could just see the collar of whatever he had underneath and he, he appeared to be looking in the distance. Uh, it was only fleeting, I'd say it probably lasted uh, two or three seconds uh, and then he disappeared. But he, even though the door was shut, we would, we would open at that time. He appeared to be looking way beyond the back of the door. You know what I mean? Mm. Sort of staring through it. Um, that's that's the biggest personal thing happened to me. And the only time we've had any um, malevolence here is a lady was in the bath in room one. I've, I've heard about this one. Yeah, and we've actually tried to reenact this. In our fantastic. Well, yeah. I think that's a great idea because that was so. It, it'll remain vivid in my memory because she was so uh, shaken. And of course, the, the story is that um, she said to me. It, uh, she's trying to kill me. Mm. She's trying to kill me, and yet she saw nothing. And on most people, if it happened, certainly to an, if it happened to a female, would say it's tried to kill me, yeah. or he. Uh, but she, she is one hundred percent convinced that she was held down by a woman. Oh right. Which, 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 which to me, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that does that doesn't match with our findings, does it? Because um, we. We, we we felt very strongly that there was a man in that bathroom. Yeah. Didn't we? Well, the, listen, there's absolutely no doubt about it. Uh, the the ninety five percent of people coming here experience a male a male presence, and of course you you got the the, the, the sort of the hangman, the jailer, mm. the prisoners, but it was just this one off, completely one off. Uh, in in all the people say nobody else other than this lady has said a woman. Right, okay. um, on, it, it is. It, yeah. it, that's why I think that's why it's got people's imagination. Because I agree with you. I I, I agree one hundred percent that there is this male uh, malevolence around sometimes, and I've never experienced. The only woman woman we've had sort of uh, fleetingly involved, Fanny Price, but different different circumstances altogether. Yeah. And this is an absolute anomaly. What happened to this lady? If you found uh, or you felt male present, I would be on your side one hundred percent. But I think what makes this sort of famous, if you like, is that it is an anomaly. Yeah. And she is convinced it was a woman. Right, okay. Yeah, because um, we, we have an angry male. Yeah, Fanny Price yeah. don't like women, does she? She didn't like women or something. No. She well, it, it, again, with, with Fanny Price being here, obviously a very powerful presence, uh, both in life and in death, would have been a strong willed woman. Yeah. Was Fanny Price a, a landlady here? A or land, she was a landlady here right. uh, until about, I think, in the 1830s when she passed away with. Uh, consumption. Right. Um, uh, the great, uh, the great show is there. Yeah, we are. Actually, we're going to go and have a look at the family's grave in, 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 once we finish yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that is said, it's quite, quite well marked, and it does say passed away at the scary day. Yeah, completely plain. Yeah. So we'll, um, we'll, we'll show you family's grave. Yeah. But I, going back to this with the, with the bath, I would say that what you've done, you've definitely found the right because 
the this is the um, the rule um, that what well, was the same where it, it's completely against everything. You know, it's the exception that proves the rule, if you like. Mm -hmm. um, this is the only time anybody's ever said there's been a malevolence involving a lady. Mm -hmm. And again, that's why it sticks yeah. out like this whole thing. Yeah. No, but, I, I agree with what you say because normally people would say it or there's yes, something. Yes, absolutely. Or, something, yeah, 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 something, yeah, yeah. something's held me down. But she was absolutely convinced it was a woman. And whether she got a, a perfume smell or, or whatever, but something convinced her it was a woman. How old was she? The, the lady that the lady, she felt, yeah. the lady in the back, she'd be. Uh, well, well, oh, she's not watching this, and I say the wrong thing. I would have thought early 40s. Right, okay. When did it happen, Jeff? Oh, gosh, this would be. Gee whiz, I've been here so long. Huh? I would say it's about 14 years ago. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and lots of people say, well, why don't you get in touch with the lady? Believe me, it's not a lack of trying. And I think she is definitely. And she's never returned. She just, I'm sure she just, she wants to put it aside, you know. Well, she looks for a local on the No, no, she was a guest. No, mm -hmm. I've desperately tried over the years, and she's seen uh, some reconstructions and so on. But I'm sure she, she's quite happy to let it be. Forget the audio. Yeah, yeah. 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 The other things that I've enjoyed being here so long and. Um, with the panel and stuff, is that I do collect names and, and people like yourself, people who know what they're doing, many times that the same sort of figures or names will, will occur. And, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say I keep a dossier, but it's all locked in my head mm. uh, where people say, oh, this happened last time. So oh, that's, that's strange because it also happened 10 days ago to another. Mm. Um, I know that when I said I saw this chap of a, a tricolored hat, someone else completely had been known to me until about a fortnight ago. Um, we had someone called you and they were told that someone had seen exactly the same but beyond the bar. Yeah. And almost described the figure like, like a Toby Jug figure is that why you describe it. You know, like a coach member that yeah. tried and that's exactly how what someone saw behind the bar. It's I, I think as well, and but you'd be uh, more knowledgeable about this than me. I I think it's people allow other things in that other people would shut yeah. out. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Um, yeah. some people might say, Oh, did I see something? I say, Oh I couldn't have and dismiss it. But other people like to say, well, did I see something? Let's see what yeah. we can do. And of course, some people are more susceptible oh, to, 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 yes. to receiving things like this. Whereas, whereas Obviously, it's like. the standard when I used to have Jack Russell here, and in the corner there, he would sit up and beg to absolutely nothing. And honestly, God, that when a dog or, or, or a child as well, we had a child crying his eyes out about a six-year-old child, something like that, and he was sat by the fire, and his mother said, good God, you know, what's the matter? And he said, I've just seen a boy go up the chimney. Now that lad, six-year-old boy, would not have known that was probably how it was clean two hundred years ago. Mm. And he, but when a child says it with, with no, you know, he doesn't need to do it. There's no incentive to do it, or a dog. It really, you know, gets the ears on the back of my neck. Yeah, it really proves that there is something. something. There. Yeah. It, when people say, do, "Do you believe in course When I first come in, I said, "Well, I'm not sure, but I can tell you this: there is something out of kilter at the skewer." You know, whether, whether, whether you're straight enough to call it a ghost or a paranormal activity, whatever you want to call it, there's something that is not right. Mm -hmm. You can get up some mornings and, you know, I'm in the same building for 16 years and I can feel totally, I can go in the cell, for instance, whistling happy as, happy as a Larry. And I come out of there and I think, bloody, I want to tell them, this is, you know, this is rubbish. You know, and you're depressed, you've only been in there two minutes. Yeah. And there's something, there's something about areas of the pub that, that can be overwhelming. Yeah, well, usually uplifting, to be honest. Yeah. But I don't know if it's just my nature, but I'm usually on good form. But sometimes it'll get you, it'll make you very morose. Well, I spent 15 or 20 minutes in the cell last night on my own. Uh, I went in there with just a camera and an EVP recorder. Uh, I did not feel comfortable at all. No, no, it, it's an awful feeling yeah. as well, yeah. And when you look at some, when you look at the actual structures, when you're in those sort of rooms, you have a look where, where the ceiling height what used to be and things mm -hmm. like that. I mean, you know, you, a, a modern man now would have to punch big yeah. time just yeah. to get in there. And they kept people in there, you know, it's yeah. bound to leave some sort of yeah. emotional residue, surely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, what, what about COVID? How has COVID affected you? The business the side of uh, Terrible. Um, we weren't allowed, obviously, from March through to August to allow any, anybody to stay at all. Uh, we had lots of inquiries just to film for Facebook and that, but it, we approached um, Monmouth County Council and they said that's not the question. Um, uh, the government had been great financially, it's got us through, um, but very, very difficult, extremely difficult. And even now, we're so close to the border, England has shut down. And England would be responsible for about 75% of our custom. Mm -hmm. So it, there's no doubt about it, very, very difficult time. So does this mean you've got bookings piling up? Oh, 
I, I believe, I would have to look at the book, but I don't think there's any Fridays or Saturdays for the entirety of 2021, mm -hmm. simply because those people have, have been kind enough rather than to say, okay, look, we'll, we'll have our money back, they, they've taken the deposits and put them mm -hmm. towards next year. And of course, a lot of them are professional groups that come yeah. and entertain the public. Um, and, and they're in exactly the same boat as me. Yeah, of course, yeah. So there you go, if you, if you want to come and experience the skillet, Book. Yeah, so it's a <laughs> midweek. <laughs> book. <coughs> because, um, it's, there's a backlog because of COVID. And it is worth coming. We would recommend it to you. I said the staff are 100% helpful, welcoming. And I will thank you, Jeff, for oh, the thank time. You. Anything else you want to add before we finish? Only the fact that if every group is like you, I'd be over the moon. Oh, there we go. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, that's that's the... Spain, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. Uh, the, the, the voice you can hear that you can't see, by the way, yeah, is, is yeah. John uh, from Paranormal Wales UK. Okay. Um, he, he's got a camera running on also, and that will this video will also be going up on his channel. So thank you, Jeff. Thank you very thank much. You've been excellent. Thank you. Okay, so we'll this is the churchyard where Fanny Price is buried. We're going to go and have a look at her grave now. <laughs> Henry Price, Fanny Price. Yeah. That's not it. Yeah. It's the next one down there. That's a price though, isn't it? Benjamin Price. Oh yeah, Benjamin Price. There's a lot of prices, but one's gone through. One's black, the got there, one's lead through. Yeah, that one's got skewered mountain, you know, that's Henry Price. That's the beloved wife of Fanny. Henry Price. Fanny. Yeah. Fanny, the beloved wife of Henry Price. All the scared monkey in. 1875, 27, 35. Some of them very hard to read. Why do you want to read at all? Elizabeth. Somebody, someone, some son of Elizabeth. So this is Fanny's grave, isn't it? Because she she wasn't in there last night. Well, she might have been, but mm. um, she wasn't speaking. We're just going to try a quick spirit box while we're here at the grave of uh, Fanny Price.